Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Five friends took an enormous leap of faith in order to escape the vacuum of space. They married as complete teenagers. This is Married at First Flight. Last time, with less than 48 hours before getting blasted back into the void, our quintuple enjoyed a retreat to JPL with the intention of saving their lives and their relationship. Lincoln. Okay, we've got 48 hours, people. Let's get to work. I've been married before, so I know what it takes to communicate effectively and lovingly to my spouses. Even though, like, I don't think we're really married. Oh! Normal. Okay, we got 36 hours, people. Let's get to work. The last 12 hours have put a real strain on this marriage. My sister Hero could help us, but no one will break our vows to go on a date with her. I'm like, who cares? It's not like we're really married. Hermie. Okay, people, I've spent the last 24 hours calculating a way to save us. I love my hardworking husband. <laughs> Normal, I need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm totally into Terry again. Once we get through this, I'm gonna ask her to marry me for real. Terry. Mom, I can't believe I've been married for just a day and a half. It feels like a dream. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. You'll always be my best friend. Gotta go. My husbands are calling. Bye. Taylor. Hey, here, here. Look how much pocket I can fit in my mouth. Dude, check this out. <laughs> oh, God, you're disgusting. I feel like things are going really great with Hero. Plus, I got my mom to tweet our stunt video, and now Red Bull is hooking us up with spacesuits, so it looks like we're not gonna die after all. Once again, Taylor coming out on top. Now the teens are back on Earth. But will this marriage get annulled by Terry Jr. and his gun? Everybody get down! It's still death do us part this week on Married at First Flight. Welcome to Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast. This is a Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> podcast. No, we can't do I it know. again. We already did it. My brain just reacts to things now. It's just so in the moment. Now? Just now? <laughs> My name is Freddie Wong. In this Dungeons and Dragons podcast, I play a teenager named Taylor Swift. Not the one you're thinking of. This one. I loves... was thinking of this one. Well, Which one guess... am I thinking of now? I like the idea that very slowly I'm just regaining the mind share of Glenn Close and Taylor Swift, like that both of them fought so hard their whole careers to get, like, mm, my little Taylor's troll. like, I'm getting weaker. I'm getting weaker. Her hand is starting to fade out of existence. It's like That's the, why she acknowledged the problem is her. She didn't do that before this podcast started. Yeah, yeah, think about it, man. Uh, Taylor Swift is an anime-loving outdoors teen with a heart of gold and a pirate smile. What um, the fuck? <laughs> What? What? <laughs> what? I can't. <laughs> what is happening? Let me play my character, Will. <laughs> this week's Taylor Jimmy fact. Buffett song. What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> this week's Taylor fact. Taylor has always wanted to have an anime style hot springs in his backyard. Like you know how like, <laughs> you know what I'm about? Because he was like, "Ma'am, all the ladies will come over, and we'll be if able I to have a hot. If spring. I have a hot springs, <laughs> an yeah, onsen." Right. <laughs> he would, right? And the steam will, you know, be very We'll hide steamy. all the parts. He'll hide all the parts, but then I can, you know. And his mom's like, you get one koi fish in an aquarium. That's what you can get. But in that's, the back of her mind, she's like, I should save up for this. I should for save up for this. The amount of landscaping, idea. this Fifty thousand dollar landscaping. I'm just cost. relieved that this didn't end with him trying to make his own hot spring that turned into like a standing water, <laughs> like swampy oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. site. You know what no, I mean? no, that's what it is. Well, you've <laughs> taken this and changed the direction. So if you look on Taylor's YouTube channel, there's oh, a multi-part God. unfinished series where it's like I build my own Japanese anime style hot springs in my backyard. And it's one video. It's him breaking the ground, and then from that point on, you're just like. He never finished that because his mom got mad at him. Clearly, if you go on Google uh, Maps and you drive by his house, you're like, what happened there? That's when they took the picture of it. But uh, it doesn't look like that anymore. Is this, this like a tepid duck pond? Please come <laughs> over. Tepid duck pond feels like a, a um, scary album. I'm seeing a <laughs> lot of algae. <laughs> <laughs> tepid duck pond feels like the kind of thing you have to type into a computer to prove you're a human. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a real computer-generated password kind of energy there. Hey, everybody. Woo. My name is Matthew Arnold. I play Lincoln oh, Lee. Oh, howdy. Oh, howdy. I play Lincoln Lee Wilson, <laughs> a schooled-at-home soccer kid who, upon entering the Forgotten Realms, married four other teenagers. And a little fact about Lincoln is that he wears contacts. 
His wow. eyes are very itchy right now because he's kind of <laughs> <out>. <laughs> <laughs> What was the last time he changed those bad boys? Yeah, at the Papa John's, he looked around. He's like, you think there's a CVS around? No, there's not. It's okay. I'll just deal with it. So they're just in there. Soft contacts. Just, he you now know. has a minus two to anything requiring eyesight. Yeah, oh, he does a no. lot of like licking his fingers and just kind of getting some spit up in there just to oh, kind of keep them moist. Oh, he's really oh. gotta, hey, you got to do what you got to do. He's got to find some solution. see if he got that eyeball eating oh, amoeba. Yeah. yeah, he's got to get some lens solution pretty quick. He's got like <laughs> calcium crusting it up like the frozen guy in Terminator 2. Every yeah. morning his eyeballs open it just sounds like a zipper. You know, like, oh, <laughs> like the Eon Flux opening. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm nauseous now. Uh, hi everyone. I'm Will Campos. I play normally Lee Oak, Swallows, Garcia, Wilson, Swift, Marlowe, the Unworthy. He's a blue jean baby. LA lady seems just for the band. Pretty eyed pyro smile. He'll marry a music man. I guess we're all just doing random stuff for our intros now. Freddie. It doesn't make any sense when you say it. Ballerina. <laughs> uh, normal is a perpy peppy chipper cheery school spirit mascot kid. That's what he is. And my teen fact about normal is his first time that he tried drinking. Oh. <gasps> teen drinking. It was teen actually drinking. It was preteen drinking. He was like 10 years old and they were at their grandparents' house mm -hmm. and he was like, ooh. Grandpa Henry's got this big bottle of like grandpa booze. What is it? Like, I'm going to try mm -hmm. it. And it was Henry's home brewed hard kombucha. I knew it was kombucha. And uh, knew just the, was the second he opened this thing, there was like mm -hmm. shimmering, you know, like that heat air. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, like, it just, he took one sip and it just put him on the moon. He was thrown up for a day. <laughs> okay. You saw through the fabric of space time mm -hmm. and reality. And his next 18 poops were perfect. Yeah, he never Damn, had a wipe again. I I'd he's be interested never wiped. in Henry's He's never had to wipe hard. again, dog. <laughs> hard he's like, he's like, shower. like One day he's like, hey, I haven't had to wipe for two weeks. I don't think I have to shower either. And everybody's like, no, no, you still have to shower. <laughs> Bro, nothing but net. Uh, yeah, his gut health is just. <laughs> Here's the sound of him taking shit. <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> That's my fact. I yield the remainder of my time. Okay. Hi, my name is Beth May, and I play Terry Marlowe, a yeah! hardworking soccer star whose mom is her best friend, Aww. and she's insane. Fun <laughs> fact about Terry this week is that she likes spicy food. Mm -hmm. So, like, when she goes to like a Thai restaurant, and they're like, "Okay, do you want you know mild spicy?" Yeah. She'll ask for medium Whoa. spicy. Whoa. Oh, whoa, but whoa. sometimes it's a little too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, I wish I had done mild, but I feel like I could have handled medium. Is her dream to be on hot ones someday? I think that'd be a little too spicy. <laughs> but maybe if they made like an easier, mild like, a, ones. A, a, like a, me ones. a medium ones, then things would be different. That's for kind of famous people. <laughs> a lot of D&D podcasters <laughs> on medium ones. <laughs> I'm Anthony Birch. I'm your dad. Hi, hey, dad. We had a conversation on the last Teen Talk about parasocial relationships. And I'm, I realized I give away too much of myself for free. <laughs> yes, right, Jan. On this fucking Throw podcast. Charge. Charge. Uh, so you, behind the paywall, you can hear some fucking dad facts oh, about my no. real life. But here, oh here you're only getting fake facts about me. Okay, okay. well, give us your one. one. I've had sex. Whoa! <laughs> So when we last left you, you had just landed after a jaunt in Goof Realm. I'm so glad we landed in JPL. I don't know how we would have gotten back from space if we hadn't gotten <laughs> to JPL. You would hang out at JPL. You finally managed to get back to the doodlerized Earth. And when you landed on the ground, he said, get down, and then started shooting at you. Taylor's already down because he's in a modified blade pose upon landing. The modified blade pose, you will recall, is the pose that Trinity does when she throws that motorcycle into the Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The long leg. The long one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would like everybody to roll initiative, please. Whoa! Whoa. We are bullets entering Lincoln? <laughs> what a way to say that, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you had so many different ways you could have verbalized that thought. Say it. So answer the question. <laughs> You're going to have to roll to see if they hit you, yeah. Okay. 18 plus 1, 19. As Lincoln is waiting to see whether or not these bullets enter him... <laughs> He is like looking at you have to his wait very long. not wanting to make the same mistake Chris did. He's whispering, go on without me. <laughs> you can marry again or stay married to each other, whatever. It makes you happy. I don't care. Don't live your life because- Don't keep live living. my life? Just keep living your life. Just keep living your life. You don't need to stay. I'm dead. I'm going to be dead. That's the poetic words he says as the bullets fly that towards him. Chiseled All right, grade. what am I rolling? With the slow motion gun that Terry uses. <laughs> initiative. Init I don't know why I said that like that. Initiative. My initiative is a three plus a three. That's a six. Okay. I also got a six. Ooh. I got Natural a six? No, I got a three plus a three. <sighs> Should we roll off to see who goes first? Yeah. All right, let's roll off. Fucking roll off. Do, 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 do. 
Five. Five plus three, eight. I got a 19 plus three. Shit. Shit. All right. All right. Beth goes before me. Will, 19. Oh, okay. 17 plus two. Can you and Freddie roll off? Because you both got 19. Oh, Will, you want a Ooh. fucking, you want the this fucking This is a new bull. DNC mechanic. You want the bull? You getting the horns, <laughs> dog. <laughs> nice try. 18 plus one, 19 again. <laughs> I got a nine. Fucker. Damn. Goddamn right. Beth, you and me, cool kids. Up All there. right, who moves on in the next bracket? Now it's Freddy versus Beth. <laughs> when do the bullets go? When do the bullets yes, go? Yes, <laughs> Normal and Link are going to roll dexterity to see if you can get hit or not. You're Pretty saying that. Do, do, do. I oh, I got an 11. Dodge bullets. Just like the fucking movie versus, I'm going to get a natural 20. Whoa! Whoa! Fuck 24. Yeah. So normal, one of the bullets is going to hit you. You're going to take 2d8 of damage. That's not that bad for a bullet. Well, it hits you in the shoulder. Oh, it's like a cool bullet. It's move. like a cool, ah, uh, this is just a hey, part of the narrative how, moment. How long do you think it's going to be before Tom Cruise just gets shot in one of the movies? I've been saying that for years. <laughs> I think the next Mission Impossible, he's just going to get shot in the chest. I think they're, they're just going like, to do it. As a stunt. Yeah, yeah as, as a stunt. stunt. Just yeah. do like, like a one-take surgery on Yeah, him. yeah, we set up all these cameras in slow-mo, and <laughs> we're just going to shoot him. Tom's been practicing for the last six months. <laughs> with smaller and smaller calibers. I'm just going to fucking plug them. I rolled a d20 and got a natural 20. Does that give me... Yeah, anything? you get 20 damage for messing up. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby! Guess shit. what? Pay attention, bitch! With your natural 20, Link, what happens when you are shot at by Terry? Essentially like that scene in Spider-Man and when he's in the hallway and the kid throws a punch. And he gets the spidey sense and he just kind of like watches the fists go around. His name is Flash Thompson. <laughs> the guy who's Show him some him. fucking respect. Flash Thompson. That's what happens. Link just kind of looks at the bullets and he just he's like, oh. These don't seem so scary no, when they go this the slowly. In, in normal. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's scary. He looks to the right. He sees one of them go. He's like, well, that one's not going to go anywhere. And he looks to the left. He's like, oh, good. That one missed me. It's going right into, oh, my God, normal. normal. Wait, how can you? Why? Why? Why, what? why do you have this ability? Because you got like, a roll 20. 20. Pay attention, bitch. No, but I'm saying like, but like, you don't. <laughs> no, I'm, right, I'm right being there thrown around. You. I just think like baby gets a treat when he rolls a natural 20. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I guess that's what Matt is deciding yeah, his little natural treat 20, is so like, I just And also time slows down when shit like goes real. So yeah, like, they've done yeah. studies. So yeah, they've done studies. So I'm just following those studies right now. <laughs> All right, Fuck. Taylor, it is your turn. If anybody wants to roll perception, feel free. I'm perceiving that I just got shot. Ow! Ah! All right, you see Terry. I rolled he, a 10 perception as well. You see, okay, he looks like he's wearing maybe a turtleneck. I got a 12. Yeah, maybe a turtleneck. Okay. I got a natural 20 perception. No, you didn't. Yeah, I just you got two at natural 20s in a row. 20 plus two. You can see it in Dungeons yeah. and Dragons Beyond. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, then you. Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? Why'd you say the whole thing? That's insane. Zero sugar, please. <laughs> I like to watch TV shows on the American Broadcasting Company. <laughs> Can't we just get beyond Dungeons and Dragons? Oh boy. Okay, so, so it also makes sense. Well, yeah, that yeah, I would but he rolled perception. Yeah, it makes sense. I could perceive if I'm literally in slow motion. Yeah, you're in right slow mo. Now. Yeah. So you can see that around Terry's neck is what looks to be a metal cuff with something etched into it. Uh, uh -oh. Runes that you cannot quite decipher from this distance, but oh they look no. like English language. Uh-oh. It's uh -oh. like a collar. He's uh -oh. like a little doggy. Is it a collar that says he has to be a really good dad or whatever it is that we put on the dragon? You can see from this distance, it does not say you have to be a really good dad. <laughs> yeah, good. You can the... see it says something else. Okay, I can't Dude, see what Dude, we're going to have to decapitate another stepdad. Damn. Sure. All right, so it's okay. now Taylor's Taylor turn. Taylor is going to cast Pass Without Trace. A veil of shadows and silence radiates from me, masking myself and my companions from detection. Each creature I choose within 30 feet of me, my boys and Terry, has a 10, <laughs> plus 10 bonus to dex stealth checks and cannot be tracked Ooh, except 10. by magical means. The creature receiving this bonus leaves behind no tracks or other traces of its passage. So Taylor's going to throw like one of his ninjutsu smoke bombs down and be like, ha, danger! It's a smoke bomb that Taylor ordered off AliExpress, so it's like we are definitely breathing in some kind of fumes. <laughs> some fucked yeah. up shit. He can't hit you, right? So I mean, you, know, see you know, we just got a plus 10 to dex, so we you have could, a yeah, roll plus, bad, he can still hit yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, plus okay, 10 okay, bonus yeah. to dex stealth checks. Oh, is it just stealth checks? It says plus 10 bonus to dexterity parenthetical stealth checks. Yeah, so that, yeah, would so be, so that means it doesn't that mean like an attack. That means like if we hide. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, but you, like... You can say you're hiding if you want to. There's detritus around here. You're near the city that you met the Black Parade in, so there is detritus you can be hiding behind. let me just ask you 
really quick then in terms of where we landed, like, you know, are we in a park? Are we in like a city square in intersection? You're in, a, you're like, in an where? intersection of the city square with some turned over cars. It's very okay, I okay. am legend. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We're, in, in. we're in I am legend. There's a mannequin over there. You know? Yeah, it turned its head a little bit. And you're like, what? <laughs> Remember when the I am legend, like it's the war torn future. There's a crisis and gas is $5 a gallon. <laughs> and it's like, oh, man. And yeah. they have the Batman versus Superman poster in there, too. They predicted the dystopia that we live in now. Damn. Those um, writers knew we were going to vote for Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's now sneaky sneaking behind some stuff. So once it's Terry's turn, he's going to try to roll to discern you, and you're going to roll opposed stealth. It is now your turn, normal. Normal. You're welcome. Is- Ow, thanks. Oh, my God. Hubby, what's wrong? I got shot. Oh, my God. Ow. 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 Why are you saying how you got shot? Because we're one soul. <laughs> that was really Sympathy nice. Pain. Just, Sympathy you pain. Help? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's my turn, though. You got to help on your turn. Okay. I was just going to get like some gauze or something, but yeah, go ahead and do your oh, magic, babe. Do your Magic, Magic, babe. I am going to cast heal on myself. Do a little first level cure wounds. We're just going to top this one off. First level cure wounds is like at the gas station when you're just, I'm still a little bit of gas. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try and hit $5 exactly. Yeah, I heal 13 damage. Damn. First level cure wounds is strong. You feel healing vapors emanate from your hand into the wound on your shoulder and the bleeding stops. The hole remains with the bleeding stop. Wow. See that? That's the power of love. Wow. Yeah. So it's Terry's turn. He's going to try to roll for each of you individually if he can see you or not. Do we do it opposed or what do we do? Yes. You're going to roll stealth. So go ahead and roll stealth, Beth. And you're going to add 10. 9 plus 10. All right, 19. Will, go ahead and roll. I got an 18. All right. Freddie, go ahead and roll. Natural 20 plus 4 plus 10, 34. We are entering the era where Taylor Swift is going to fucking rock ass. And now Matt. I got 18. So oh, yeah. wait, no, no, we no, plus no. 10? 28, dude. You got a 28, man. Stealth yeah. boy. Holy shit. Where Terry, am I? Terry, meet you. Oh, all of our voices <laughs> echo around like, over here. Over here, over here. <laughs> so Terry's like, good one. Good idea, Taylor. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Everybody keep your heads down. And he is going to shoot randomly into the darkness. He got an 18. Sit normal again. (laughs) (laughs) He's your other shoulder. "Ah!" No, if it's a good roll, he should not want to hit us. Yes, yes. Subconsciously, he's trying to not hit you. So you hear the whiz of bullets go right past your head. And that is going to be his turn. He's going to go, good job, guys. Good job. I I only got a couple bullets left. We just got to get through this. (laughs) Taylor goes, small caliber rounds. Uh, It's Hermie's turn. And Hermie is going to sulk. Beth, it is your turn. Before I take my turn, I want to sort of clarify, I was doing some Googling, but it wasn't as helpful as I thought it would be about the whole thing of insanity in D&D, because the rules are like, you can't speak and do it. And obviously we've taken a different route with this, but do I get like disadvantage on all my roles? And then another question I had was like, how does the insanity end? Is it long rest, which I thought, or is it like I have to get like a, a higher restoration spell? I'm going to say it's going to be long rest. Okay. And I'm going to say that you can still talk and you don't have disadvantage on everything. I'm just going to say that it's changed your personality temporarily such that if you were trying to do something that Scary would be good at, it's going to be harder for you because now you're Terry. Okay. Oh, but if you're trying to do something that Terry's good at, like make friends. Yeah. 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 Oh, Hi, my name is Terry. I know you can't see me in the darkness, but I just wanted to say, like, stop shooting at my husband's. (laughs) Terry goes, what? (laughs) I think that love conquers all, and I think you should just put down the gun. Terry goes, what did you guys do to Scary? Who's Scary? It's complicated. She kind of talked to the doodler, and this sort of new side of her is driving the bus now, so to speak. Yeah, hey, man, you're like a dad, so just, like, embrace whatever your kid's going through, and just, like, it's still your kid. I'm just trying to make sure you didn't brainwash her or something. That doesn't sound like my Scary. I mean, not, she's not my Scary. She's uh, she's a Scary. She's, it doesn't, shit! And he just starts firing again, like, into the air, like, point Stop firing style. guns Look, to solve things. We're gonna things. find your Scary. We can help. We just need to put the gun down. All right, go ahead and roll Persuasion with disadvantage because you don't sound normal to him. It's a seven, that's a four. Okay, so Terry's gonna go, I don't believe you, something's wrong. You, you guys did something to scary. I'm gonna find out what it is. One bullet at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so he keeps the gun in his hand. Link, it is your turn. I'm going to cast a third level spell. I'm gonna say, hey, everybody, just violence is not the answer. Can we just all like just talk this out? Like Terry said, the way to solve things is with love or hope. So I cast Beacon of Hope, oh, which God. is... This spell bestows hope and vitality. Choose any number of creatures, all of us. For the duration, each target has the advantage of wisdom saving throws and death saving throws and regains the maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. So I I wish I had done that before you did your healing spell. But we're just all really smart now. (laughs) 
We and, can be wise now. Yeah, we're wise. You're wise. And also, normal gets to heal up to... No, uh, next time I roll, I'll do max. Oh, the it's next time. Anytime we do a spell oh, for healing, cool. we gain yeah. full healing. Oh, that's dope as hell. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. So you can just crank low-level shitty spells. And then I look around. Is there any, like, flower on the floor? There is one single yellow flower that is a sprinting distance away. I pick it up. And I fucking just like run full speed and try to slam it into the barrel of the gun as violently as possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll Dexter. He's going to shoot at you as you grunt at him. That's a three plus seven. All right, he rolled a 17 to hit you. So he hits you square in the fucking chest. Oh, and, my God. And you get knocked down. You're going to take 3d8 of damage. Oh, like. What a powerful metaphor for the human condition! The flower's still in your hand as you hit the ground. Oh no! Oh, no. But now there's like blood on one of the pedals. Nineteen damage. Leap out from nowhere to take a <laughs> shot of this poetic. <laughs> I got nineteen damage. All right. I say, I hope oh, with that new wisdom I gave you, you forgive yourself for what you just did. <laughs> because I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why did you rush me? <laughs> I was just wanted to give you a flower and your gun. It wouldn't have done anything. I would have shot the flower out and hit you in the face. Mister, why are you shooting? He's making me. He made me. Who made you? So it is now Taylor's turn. Use that extra wisdom I gave you, buddy. Taylor. <laughs> is Terry making saving throws against whatever's fucking with him? No. No. Uh -oh. The way that the callers work, if you recall from season one, is that they just work. You recall it. Oh. Taylor's going to cast Spike Growth. Ground in 20-foot radius, center on a point within range, twists nice. and sprouts hard spikes <laughs> and thorns. Difficult terrain, creature moves into or within, takes 2d4, piercing damage every five feet. So it's basically Taylor just spreads out all, it's just rolling out all his tools, dude. Mm -hmm. Taylor goes like, caltrops. Hey! So you try and get around these. So out of the smoke, a bunch of fucking caltrops. Only he had some sort of magic steel thing that shot rocks out of it that went over the air <laughs> to hit people with them. Do I have a gun? No, what are you talking does. about? He does. He doesn't need to get close he to you. <laughs> he's not trying to get close to you. No, but he can't fucking move, though. Now he's in a fucking prison of my own. Life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Completely unarmed, except for the gun that he has. <laughs> no, but he can't see us. There's darkness ah, all over the place. He's stuck behind those prison bars with nothing but a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Try to stop. <laughs> it's like the end of X-Men when they put Magneto in, a, in the yeah, thing. Yeah, he doesn't have a gun. But he has a fucking, <laughs> he has an M249 and a lot of ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, fuck you guys. I'm casting spike growth. Spike growth is cast. Good luck. All right, great. Will, it is your turn. Who's making you do this? Wait, does he take damage or something? Only if he moves into it. Oh, okay. So nothing happens oh on this God. turn. He just watches that just happen and goes, well. Sprayed caltrips like an octopus on the ground when it feels threatened. Everyone run! <laughs> I'm going to cast Hold Person. Just to ensure he will never get near the Caltrops. <laughs> 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 he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. He did not. Even with his bonus? He didn't get a bonus yeah, from that, I, did he? I have a bonus. No, no, no. Beacon of Hope, I gave it to everybody. You give it to everybody? Yeah. Oh, okay, then yeah, he succeeds. He, gets advantage, <laughs> on, he gets advantage on wisdom saving. So Terry saves against it, unfortunately. No! Sorry. I just want everybody to be really wise. Well, that wasn't very wise of you. <laughs> How ironic. Who's doing this? What's going on? It's us. Stop shooting. It's normal and, and all the other ones. <laughs> Remember, like, we were hit, really hit it off. We had a great conversation about Scary last time. You're our dad now, too, man. Yeah. Wait, you guys know this guy? Yeah. I, this is your stepdad. This is Terry. Well, this is I don't have a stepdad. I have a real dad. Oh, well, oh. let's let's talk about that once the guns are yeah, not so let's put firing. a pin on that when the pin is safety. Okay, mister, is there like a key to your collar or anything? He says, no, there's not. There's just the collar itself. Just don't let me kill you. Whatever happens. I mean, I obviously you weren't going to let me kill you. That's insane. Why did I say that? Oh, God, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm fucking this up. What, what do you mean you don't have a stepdad? Oh, no. Hey, oh, no. It's okay, dude. Like, these are my husbands, and I'm Terry. Oh, and Jesus, what happened? <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> it's going to be okay. If you don't want to hurt anybody, you don't have to. Nobody's ever going to make you do that unless you're, like, under a spell or something. But I just found out about spells, and um, I can't do them, but I really admire them. I think they're great. So they're great. Terry's going to stand up, point his gun, and go, you're too young to get married. And he's going to start firing into the cloud again. And he is going to completely whiff and click, click, click. The gun is going to empty. And he goes, oh, thank God. And he throws the gun down. And he goes, it's it. You're good. You can and come out now. you don't have any like secret ones on your ankle or anything like that that we need to and know goes, about. he you got me. And he pulled down another <laughs> one from his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> He fires that one and click, click, click. Oh, I forgot to load that one. Ah, oh, damn it. That's really good thinking, Terry. Scary. Terry? Scary. It's Terry. Terry. 
Wow. What's your name? Terry. No way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's safe now, guys. It just, he wrote that I had Ugh. to shoot some of you when you came Who down. Who what? Who did what? W- Willie. Willie? Willie Stampler, he's here? No, he's not. What's it say on your collar, dude? If you want to approach him, you can. Yeah, I approach. So yeah, the collar says, blast those fools except scary when they show up and don't do anything to act against me, Willie Stampler, or help the kids. <laughs> I know that he didn't blast me. I guess that means I'm not a fool. <laughs> For sure. That's probably what happened. You're right. Yes. Yeah, hon. Yeah. Terry goes, I absolutely had the desire to shoot you very badly. Yeah, you first, no. actually. I wanted to shoot you first. It was just luck that the bullets hit normal. So. And yeah. Yeah, luck. That's that's what I'd call it. Yeah, it's, uh, pretty, <laughs> it's pretty cool that none of us got shot. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I cast Cure Wounds on Link. And because I'm wise, it does the most. Well, uh, that's good. My, my wounds are healed, but still really... Really hurts. So how much do you heal for Matt? Eight plus six, which is 14. 14. So yeah, we're out of combat now. And well, that was easy. I'm going to grab the gun and keep it away from him, of course. Cool. Sure. Yeah, it's empty, but it's... um. You and then it I'm now. also going to like rack it a few times and tuck it into my waistband like a cool fucking anime team. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, okay. hang on to this. You're not responsible like me. Terry goes, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry he got to us. He got collars on us and I'm sorry and I can't help, but I can... He didn't say anything about not sticking around and like obliquely trying to say things that might be helpful or whatever. Well, you can't, I just can't help di- us, huh? I can't directly help you, but I can. I know can stuff and I can say things. Can off? Yeah, can yeah. We, I'm going to take this off. I approach him <laughs> like Chris Pratt, approaching a velociraptor. <laughs> Great. Uh, okay. I approach him like- with his masculine swagger. So I put my hand on I'm going to take this collar off, okay? You can't. It won't work. Why not? Why not? It's got a little latch right there. All right, give it a try. I'm going to try to do that. All right, roll strength. Strength. I got a three. Even if it wasn't magically sealed, you would not have the Ooh. strength needed to wrench this thing open. It's, ma- it's magic? It's here. like stuck on there with glue or something. All right, oh, here, okay. let me try. Well, that's what you said about the pickle jar last week, hon. And, you know, I, I feel like I could have gotten I it I loosened it for you, though. Uh, yep. <laughs> What's she hey, talking about? I don't know. Hey, don't, don't worry, buddy. And I'm going to approach Terry like the boy in Black Stallion approaching the horse. <laughs> and I go, I go, let me, let me just try a little <laughs> something here. And I'm going to cast Dispel Magic. That's a spell called Magic? Dispel Magic. <laughs> I cast a, I cast a Dispel Magic. Dispel Magic. I will magic. never make a decent record. <laughs> um, and it's choose one creature or object. I mean, you know how it works. But the DC... You get the idea. You get the idea. For each spell, fourth level or higher on the target, make an ability check using your spell casting ability. The DC equals 10 plus the spell's level, and then the spell ends. Is it a spell that I can dispel? Yeah, you're going to have to roll for it, right? That's what it's saying? Yeah. You're going to have to beat a 20. Ooh, that's a big boy. Wait, the DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. Willie's cast it at level 10. So, so you are going crunch. to roll <laughs> a dit dice and try to this. get higher than a 20 with your plus four. Okay. Get 16 or higher. This is exciting. I got a four plus four. Okay, so unfortunately, this spell fizzles out in your hand. Don't worry, buddy. I got one more slot where that came from. And I cast the spell again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, give it another I try. A clip. <laughs> Five plus four. Hey, don't worry, buddy. If we all just take a little nap. <laughs> just give this He's another. like, we can't take a nap. We're in a hostile territory. <laughs> Okay. Terry, what's going on? Or Mr. Okay. Stampler, Mr. What's your last name? Marlo? Are you guys Mr. Terry? What happened? We just fell out of the sky. Like you get, you're probably wondering about these Red Bull outfits we've got on. We can fill you in on that, but we came here for the anchor, and now we find you shooting at us. What's going on? He goes, "Well, you guys go first because your thing's really confusing." It's okay, not. We're I, just married. I approach him like young Ethan Hawke approaching White Fang. <laughs> 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 okay, so we were in space. That's kind of the first thing I remember, but uh, I think we all kind of started in space. I'm actually a really big believer in astrology. I actually want to do a reading for you later, but maybe now's not the time. Anyways, we had to get out of there and. So we got married (laughs) and I made the biggest and best decision of my life. Um, We went to JPL, which I think stands for just penis losers. Um, losers. Because they weren't very helpful. A whisper of scary coming in through Terry's mania. She's in there somewhere. They weren't very helpful, especially this guy who thought he was the best dad, but actually I have the best dad. He's just not here around, you know? So he was the best though. And we came back into space and then came here and then you started shooting at us, but you said you didn't want to. And I, I don't know why. I just, I believe you. 
he turns to the rest of you and he goes, what happened? What happened to her? Pretty much just- She went home. nuts, man. She tried to talk to the doodler, I think. So yeah. I don't know. I think she's kind of regressed to like an earlier state or something like that. Oh, she okay. says she used to like soccer and stuff. And it seems yeah. like, you, Terry, you like soccer, right? I love soccer. Yeah, it it's my like, favorite thing. I play okay. left striker and my mom comes out to every game. Someday my dad's going to come to a game and he's going to see how great I am. Oh, no. So yeah. So that's what happened is like, she's like that now. Terry kind of looks aside and goes like, I did actually want to see this version of you just not like well you got it buddy yeah but just not like okay sorry what be somebody's careful gonna say something. what you wish for somebody's gonna say something <laughs> okay you go that's us that's yeah. how we're here yeah what's happening here man me and the other dads tried to team up and take down willie he got the drop on us he put collars on all of us so we all basically have these things on our necks that say we can't hurt him and we can't help you and he so what are you good for I, I mean, oh, man don't kick him always down Jesus. Jesus. he's going through a lot right now dude everybody has value thank you like not thank this you guy, scared terry even hermy hey hermy how's it going you're here too not great <laughs> i was gonna die in space like a legend hey remember those moments up there just you and me man yeah hey, we're just drifting you're worth something right we're just sands drifting through space and you're here like just a real persuasion it. 17 hermy goes normal i need to talk to you no! <laughs> I'm in love. I think I'm in love with Link. <laughs> okay. Okay. I support you. And I talked to my sister about this. And I want you to know that I'm here for you in whatever way you need me to be here for you. I'm here for you because I care about you. And uh, a third. Huh? Third. Thruple. Thrup. Triad. Try it. What? Does that make sense? I don't. Are you down? <laughs> oh, with Link? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me think about it. Well, you're married. Because if you're not, that's not going to work for me. Oh, 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 all right. I, I you're, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, so Terry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I oh. met the other Terry. I got, yeah. wow. He brought us here to get the last anchor. He dropped me off here. I don't know where he went. So he had Grant with him. And, Grant. And I, I don't know where, he, I don't know where, <laughs> where they went. We got to get to the anchor before Willie does. It's in the, the, that building. And he points at a building in the center of the town that has lights coming out of the windows. Uh, you see yellow and red lights alternating. You can see the color of what's ASU the interior. ASU colors, fork them devil. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. And he goes, we got to move as quick as we can. Because shh. And then you hear bing, 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 bing. And you hear the tromp of the boots of <gasps> the Black Parade in the distance, getting closer and closer, having been called by the sound of the gunshots. And he goes, we got to go. Okay. But our dads are there with Willie. Is that what you're saying? I guess. I think he's trying to go. He's, Wait, tra so he's trying to get, How did you get for away for. Oh, he sent you out to find us. Yeah, to stop you. So where is Grant, though? I, he's with Willie, I guess. Okay, do you know where Willie is? No. We know where they're going to be. Right. Which where? is there. I'm going to roll, look at the thing I'm looking at. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Was that perception? <laughs> yes. He said after saying the most mat sentence he's ever said in his life. <laughs> I got a 12. Okay, so with a 12, you can tell that the interior of the building is about four stories tall. It is just a normal kind of squat office building. There are people milling about inside of non-humanoid size. Bigger or smaller than humanoid size? Bigger. Okay. And there's a not unfamiliar smell that you can't quite place coming from that. I'll say this, fellow stunt teens. We are equipped with Red Bull fucking go fast suits. We could parachute down to that building we're from on the ground, though. Yeah, the ground. we're on the ground. Yeah, Where are we, we going to get like a plane or anything? To... Well, we could climb stairs and base jump. Oh. Uh, Just throwing it out there. There are definitely tall buildings near you that are taller than the, the How building. How well you're guarded for. does this building look? So on the exterior, you don't see any guards at all, but you can see a lot of people on the inside. Maybe let's approach cautiously and just kind of see what the can deal we, is. Can we just all like just pretend to be like, you know, goth or whatever? Like, like we did last time? Yeah, this is not just last time. Is it the Black Parade? Is it? No, he said it's non human. They're bigger than goths. Oh. Whoever's in there, they're way bigger than most goths. Oh. Mm. Goths are or even small. Visigoths. And they oh. were big. I learned about that in history class. So, yeah, we can. Well, we need to get off the street. Yeah, let's get off the street. Let's get to a high place like Batman would and look down and see more. We pick a building that is very tall and we climb the stairs of that building. Okay, cool. You climb the WeWork building um, <laughs> and you get to the top of the 12th floor and. That's it? 12 floors is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of regretting keeping the Red Bull suit on and the helmet on. <laughs> but it looks so fucking cool. And this building's too fucking Yeah, cool. I was just going to ask Taylor, can you help me pack up my parachute? I've been dragging it with me the entire time. Oh, it's my God. Been, I think there's a bunch of holes in it now. <laughs> God damn it. In the time that it took you to get upstairs, the Black Parade has 
started exploring the area that you were just in, trying to find the source of the gunshots. I'm going to set a timer for them, basically, and every turn you don't do something, they're going to get closer and closer to finding you. Okay. So we're looking down at the roof of yes. this building. What do we see? So you see on the roof... How's there, the HVAC look? HVAC looks like it's Are working pristine. Are man or teen-sized <laughs> vents on this roof? There is a teen-sized vent. A we also see size vent though. Like uh, six four. He's I mean, it's a it's a width issue, not a length issue. Okay, yeah, you're right. He's he's kidding. It's not the first time I've said that. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> nice. you see two calzone soldiers walking <gasps> around on the roof, holding very sharp pizza oh, cutters man. that glint in the light from below them Pizzas. in the building. I hate these guys. That's fun. So we know. <laughs> We don't know what the anchor is, but we know the anchor's in that building. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we just gotta get in there. All right, guys, I think okay. we're dealing with Calzone boys. We're dealing with Papa John's. It seems like it's gonna be really dangerous, right? Yeah, but we gotta get in there. We gotta get the no, anchor. No, I know, I know. Just like, just real, real quick. I don't know. Can we like not be married anymore? What do you mean? Well, it's just like, it was just a, a marriage of necessity. And like, it's already like a lot. And like, I, mean, I don't think yeah, I can really I handle feel the like morality I need of like, you. well, yeah, you, you got me here, but like, not as like, you know, married. What's like, the big like, deal, man? Friend. I don't know. It's just like a lie. I don't know if I can handle like all my spouses dying. Well, what's the difference? If we get divorced, then you still care about us anymore? I mean, I do, but all right, fine. We can stay married, I guess. I'm not going to be the one to leave this marriage first. So <laughs> that's fine. Whatever you guys, whatever you, no, I'm fine. Yeah. I definitely think it'd be healthy to seek counseling, maybe. But I mean, we can come to that bridge when we get there and when we find a counselor. Because here, you know, there's just not a lot of counselors. <laughs> Anthony's rolling a <laughs> dice quietly. All right. Oh, well, that's fine. Like, I just, sidebar. I, yeah. I, 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 wait. It feels like this whole marriage thing is kind of one of the tiny pieces of duct tape that's kind of keeping scary together right now. So let's just like, yeah. maybe after we get the anchor, we can cut ties. Okay. We can, you know, split things up. I okay. don't know what the alimony situation is going to wind up being. Okay. But uh, ah, I forgot to sign the prenup. I'm okay. losing all my stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, I hear you, man. Just, just know that I'm a little worried that her identity was like started by being married with four other people that she barely knew. But that's okay. Well, I, I hear you. We'll figure yeah, it out. She can go on the journey of self-discovery back to herself. Okay, okay, or whatever right, she's going right. after. We, no, it's fine. It's yeah, fine. Right. I, no, I can learn to not care too much about my spouses either. No, like, well, I don't. Mm, oh, uh, all right. It's fine. Uh, There's a lot going on. Okay. Guys, okay, that's on the prize. How are we getting into this building? Okay. Let's, um, yeah. How do we do Two this? Two approaches. Loud and fast or that one. stealthy and quiet. That one. That's okay, a good okay, one. The right. second one's good. We can go from above. Or below. The, I mean, well, we're, we're already, already above. above. Yeah. All so, right. Well, take it away. What do we do? You hear alarm beneath you. You hear alarm. doors. Alarm within. Uh, you hear doors being kicked inside, <gasps> and you hear miserable voices going, "Scary. We're scary. We need scary. You abandon us." <gasps> you hear stomps as people begin to run up the stairs. Oh shit! You. These guys oh, see Terry. They're gonna freaking kill her. She's like the least depressed person ever right now. Are we like next door to the? So you're in a 12 story building next to a four story building. And they haven't seen us. They basically saw footprints. I scream over the edge. I go, whoa, hey, look, Scary's over there at the Hot Topic. Roll deception with disadvantage. With disadvantage. Hot Topic's so cringe. What is she getting? Yeah. A Rick and Morty shirt? She's <laughs> tearing all the Hot Topic stuff down because it's cringe. <laughs> Good save, man. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Got a nine. With a nine, you do not convince them. You hear these steps continue to <laughs> move up hard okay. towards you. So Taylor goes to the group and goes like, any of you have any base jumping experience? What? Um, no, uh, absolutely not. It won't matter. Here's what we do. I have basic jumping experience, and I jump oh, up Good enough. Down. Good Ooh, enough. Here's what we hops. do. Have you ever thought about being a goalie? And then I jump Everyone, too. shut up. We got to do. We got to move. Okay. You dangle your oh, I Run. No, <laughs> wait. Run. No, no, no. Where? Hold on. Watch. Watch. Calm. Do oh, what I do. Slow and steady is fast, man. Just calm down. Just fucking. Okay, so Taylor, having seen this on a YouTube video, is going to dangle the parachute over the edge, over front of him. So you're basically, you're standing on the edge, and the parachute's in front of you over the edge. Okay. And Taylor goes, this is why I saw a YouTube video on this once. All you have to do is jump forward and do a front flip. Okay. And the, and the parachute will base jump us and take us down gently. And the goal is we steer it onto the roof of that building. And, I, and hopefully, and I turn to Terry, who doesn't have a Red Bull suit and helmet and cool jumpsuit, and you, they're going to see all of us in our very bright Red Bull gear going onto the other building, and hopefully it'll cause a crazy conundrum for everyone in that building because all the Black Braids are going to try and get in there, right? They'll see us going onto that building. They'll follow us. They'll try and bring in that building. It'll be chaos. Oh. Oh. In that chaos, Terry, that's your cue to escape. Start blasting. Find some ammo, my man. All right, we ready? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. One, fine ammo, my man, is doing a lot of work. <laughs> like, for on top of a building. Like, I don't think he has ammo. That's not and your two, problem. Our problem no. is getting on the roof of that building. Okay, but two, so, like, 
dude, the minimum altitude for base jumping is 200 feet at least. We're on a 12-story building. Like, we're going to just hit the ground and die. Like, what are you talking? You're just going to jump off this building. Nah, not with this method of deploying, Matt. You were just sitting there looking at Google like a fucking root. But I know that this is the fastest way that you can get a canopy open off the edge of a building. Hmm. Absolutely not. Well, it Link seems- wouldn't know. Link's just like, I don't trust you. Absolutely not. Like, <laughs> you cannot jump off 12 stories base jump with a normal parachute. You'll I die. Mean, isn't it like that Terry, too, won't have a parachute so he can't come with us? And this group of people, they might attack him before he could get over to the other building. That's that's right. You're concerned about what would... Ha- that's really nice. Wow, that feels... Can I... Uh, uh, never mind. No, I was going to ask for a hug. That doesn't make any sense. You know, oh, really sure. <gasps> she hugs oh. him. Uh, so he immediately blushes really big and he goes, this is, oh, man. This is really Oh, dude. No, nice. that's not good. This dude, has never happened. Not healthy. Man. You've never yeah. been hugged? Not by oh, man. my stepdaughter. Oh. I he still hasn't. He just yeah. doesn't know it yet. Yeah. I mean, he does know, but yeah. I know. Still, it's still weird, but it's, I'm taking what, like, man, taking what man, I can get, I guess. Man. Those are just like us sometimes. Meanwhile, Taylor <laughs> pulled up a number of low base jumping front flip parachute videos where people are doing it off 12 story buildings. Go fuck your fuck. Hermie goes, mm, I, I, I do have an idea. What is it? In order to prevent Terry from being hurt, I using my incredible acting skills, and he turns around and he looks like scary. (gasps) What? (laughs) Could convince them that I am their leader and order them to follow you into that building. Oh my God, it's so crazy. It just might work. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Do we need to jump off anything for that to work, Taylor? Taylor already has the parachute dangling over and he's like, what do you mean? They're all coming up for us. What if it fails? Look, all I'm saying is, if I remember, like, one time when I was browsing on the internet, when I was on the UKC uh, forums, they were talking about that, like, modern canopies and D can jump at 105 feet to 80 feet, but it's, like, it's a specialized equipment, and you need to be very, very well trained to be able to do this. So, like, I'm just saying. So you'll have to roll for it. (laughs) I'm just saying. And then also, that's really just about getting to the ground. I don't think you're going to get to the top of that four-story building. Not that I know anything about what's going on. I'm uh, just thinking. I'm just thinking out loud with the power of Google. Well, Taylor then says, (laughs) I'm going to look very quickly to see if there are and you know like those old timey buildings have water towers on top of them they're yeah. full of water are there water towers either on this building or the other one there's a water tower on this building look like Hermes got a good idea he pretends to be scary he doesn't work like Thermopylae this shit like just like so here's what I'm thinking we can fight right, them Hermes if you think you can convincingly play scary and we can trick them that'll work if it doesn't work I'll cast control water on that water tower and bust it open and can then wash them down the stairs again like and then we like jump the off like itsy bitsy spider like itsy bitsy spider oh. and then and then wait, but wait, you- they climb up again. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. That's what. Well, that's it's time to do Taylor's plane and jump off the building. Oh God! Okay. Okay. Wait. So it sounds like what we want to do is we want to let Hermie attempt to convince them, and if not, then Normal will wash them down, and then when they come up again, we'll just do a cool front flip off the building and do base jumps like I want to. Well, I mean, <laughs> maybe like if Hermie no fails, like I could give it a shot because you said that I look like scary. That's true too. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Like, like this Terry really, like Hermie, you look a, like good job. You're looking a lot like scary right now, but Terry really looks like scary. So, like, you just gotta give, give me like your meanest. Be mean. Give me something like something really mean. Um. Yeah. Like, say something about how bad I smell. Yeah, and gravel your voice up like. Ugh. But acting, okay. but acting. I feel like I'm tired. Don't say it too mean though, because it will hurt my feelings. <laughs> you can say it to me. Nothing hurts my feelings anymore. Just. Okay, Ugh. babe. Good I was babe. thinking that. Don't think you could maybe shower more. I know this is a hard thing to hear, Whoa. but I'm saying it because I care about oh, you. Oh, I, and I want okay. you to- You're running out of time. The footsteps are getting closer and closer. Hermie goes, guys, you don't have time to do this. Um, scary. Give me something that I can use to, or Terry, whatever the fuck, that I can convince them that I'm you, something that only you would have. Maybe that tape measure that you got from these guys the last time you were here. Can I have that? Do we still have that? Yes, you do. Um, sure. So I look in my pockets because I don't remember having it. Oh, it's clipped to your belt. It's clipped to my belt. Here you go. Cool. Hermie takes it and goes, ah, and now for the performance to begin. I kind of grab Terry. Yeah. Like, just, just lean over the edge. Okay, I'm Okay, le- now Hermie, just scream really loud. Uh, uh, no, but stop talk like, oh, like scary. scary. Okay. They can't tell her mouth's not moving from 12 stories up. Ahem, 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 ahem. I'll just say it like, just really quietly, just watermelon, watermelon, yeah. and it'll look like I'm, I'm just saying whatever you're point saying. at them. Okay, I say watermelon, watermelon, <laughs> and I point. And I go, everybody, go do the thing. And uh, I'm going to have them roll <laughs> to see if they can figure out that that's Terry or not, or if it's scary. So with a 
14, they are not convinced that that is the person. They stop for a second. It looks like scary. It does look like scary <laughs> okay. for a second. And then they stop and they realize there's just something, there's some energy that's missing. There's some sort of je ne sais quoi, some sort of misery that isn't quite there. And they're like, what? it's an imposter. Go, go, go. And they start running up the stairs. Now they're in the stairway right behind you. Turn around, you bad people. You have one thing you can do now before they rush onto the roof. These calls are beyond any of you. <laughs> and then normal is going to cast control water and I'm gonna part water, so I'm going to part the water inside the, um, the water, water tower? tower with enough force such that it rips it open, and then I'm gonna use redirect flow to send the water okay. down the stairs towards them. Great, I'm gonna have them roll dexterity saving throw. They got a 16. So I'm gonna say that half of them get washed away. Ooh, as, as, they, as they go down the <laughs> stairs. Um, the other half use the handrails. Yeah, the other half just grab onto the handrails and they're gonna keep coming at you. There's six of them, now they're on you. So. They jump in and they grab Terry and they go, what'd you do with Scary? What'd you do with our Lord? And one of them sees Hermie as Scary and Hermie's gonna go, hey boys. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have them roll to see if they understand. And they stop for a second and they don't quite know what to make of Hermie, but they know that the rest of you probably can't be trusted if you've got an imposter Scary, so they're gonna attack you. That's like you. All right, what are you gonna do? Taylor does a front flip <laughs> over the building with his parachute. <laughs> All right, there's gonna be a couple of rolls. So first, give me a dexterity roll to successfully front flip acrobatics. Even though I practice front flips in my yard all day. Yeah, but now with a can't be. I'm gonna make you fall for this. 18 plus one, 19. Perfect. Well, almost perfect. It could have been exactly 5% better. You kind of like cocked your body a little bit so it wasn't totally straight. Just a little bit of a shoulder roll. A little yeah. bit of a shoulder roll. But you front flip off of the building, the canopy engages as your momentum goes down. But now you have to see if we can control where your fall is. So give me another acrobatics roll. And they don't let him have this. Just let him fall. The dice will decide the his fate. It's not you. up to me. It's not up to me. <laughs> the Red Bull Stratos parachutes are like 200 feet wide for space what, dropping. When did you become <laughs> fucking, what is going on fucking over here? Fucking Neil Tyson over here trying to fucking get in my way. <laughs> Every time I do something semi-reasonable, everybody's jumping off with space parachutes from 12 stories up. Seven plus one, eight. <laughs> okay, so that one, you fuck up. You managed to, yeah, away from the building, like towards the building you're trying to go towards with the Papa John's people in it. <laughs> and, the and then massive yeah. canopy blows me back. Right back. Into, into the, the building. Into the building. Yeah, you, you pancake against the fucking building, and you're going to take 2d6 of damage as you slam into the building, and then your canopy- Continue slamming into it back and forth, I see. Yeah, I guess so. You're just gonna slam all the way back down and land in a what looks to be a crowd of angry well, can I, black can I, can I use my turn to seeing stupid idea Taylor's doing to try to reach out and grab, and grab the chute? So I'm like holding him, you know, like cliffhanger style. Like I'm holding the top of the chute. Give me a uh, slide of hand roll. That's no, okay, Matt. You can let me that fall. It feels like it'd be on strength or something, right? I was imagining it was more of a speed. Like, can I get to oh, it before yeah, yeah. Taylor no, you jumps know, it's, off? It's, it's that scene in the Matrix when it's like, he looks down and he sees the rope going like, oh, and he's like, like grab dexterity. It. He's beginning to believe. I'll do 14. It was 14. You know? 14. Okay, so with a 14, you manage to just barely grab onto the canopy right before it goes all the way down. So oh, you know what this? He grabs the top chute, like the pilot chute. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is as it's falling down like in Matrix, and then which then causes me to then slam into the building again. Yeah, yeah that's what <laughs> fucked you up was the like fact the that, that Link grabbed it. <laughs> yeah, just like the helicopter, you, you hit the window. Now you're going to have to roll strength to see if you can hold all of Taylor's weight plus the parachute as it goes taut. Got an 11. Okay. So Sorry, man, I tried. <laughs> so like, the, the, the parachute just slips out from your grasp and Taylor just begins to, I feel like, fall because you would hit it and that would fuck up the parachutes. This is why I didn't want to remain or married. Does <laughs> or does Link go and get dragged down with the uh, parachute? That's even worse. That's great. I Four like 11. that. Okay, sure. So yeah, both of you get dragged down and you're now falling. But you're in your parachute too. Wait, no, guys, this is going to work. This is going to work. So Link is now falling. Sure, I'll go with that. So Normal is going to dive and grab Link's parachute. <laughs> okay. And he's 6'4", so there's a lot of him that's got to go over the edge. Yeah, there's a lot of, time a lot of parachute. Him. So go ahead and give me a slide of hand to grab that parachute. I think you're grabbing my ankles. No, it's your parachute. All right. You're I, going I over your parachute's parachute. behind you because you were so busy no budding Taylor <laughs> that you didn't put your parachute over the edge. I took that parachute off the moment I landed, like every reasonable <laughs> insane. No, no, I'm sorry, nobody. I did not climb up 12 stories with a 200 Yeah, that's why Taylor. Right, fine. Normal. I will go over the edge, but you grab my ankles. That's why Taylor was out of breath, is that he then here's what normal his parachute does. Normal up with throws him. his parachute. <laughs> okay. I take the backpack off mm -hmm. and throw it at you to grab, oh, cool. and I'm like going to hold the other end of it. Shit, yeah. Okay. Give me a dexterity throw to see if you can throw and it Link, directly at being him. being the weird homeschool kid he was, he used to practice putting on a backpack with his feet. So 
I'll show all the kids at school I'm so cool by doing this. Both of you give me dexterity rolls. Uh, Will for throwing, Matt for catching. I got a nine for this one. Seven. Okay, okay so you just throw your parachute it. right at the fucking <laughs> oh! the roof. Still in its bag, the parachute just sails over the roof right past you, and catch you're just it, catch it, catch down it. one parachute. Tried. And he doesn't even go for it. He's just like, I didn't want it. <laughs> no, I didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Now you want a parachute? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. He's scary, it's up to you. Um, just let us fall. <laughs> we deserve it. So Terry looks in her pocket and finds a poem. And she's going to take one more chance at trying to convince these people that she's really her. Okay. I feel like the poem will be advantage to cancel out the disadvantage you get from being friendly scary. Okay. <clears throat> In the depths of teenage woe and strife, I spill my angst hating stepdad's life. With no fancy words or rhyme scheme tight, here's a raw poem, my heart's darkest light. That dude, my stepdad, he's such a pain. Makes me want to scream or go insane. He walks around like he's prepared for me, but deep down, he's just so scared of me. Ooh, okay, so give me a roll. Persuasion. I feel like she should get advantage for writing a poem on the podcast. Well, I was just, well, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to you guys for, I don't even know what the rest is happening. <laughs> so I like the last like few minutes, I was like, uh. I'll be nice. I'll give you advantage for it. Sure. Fuck it. Fuck. Look, not everybody appreciates poetry, but I know it's a six. Oh no. It's going to be another, it's another six. It's oh my God. Six. Yeah. <laughs> I was like literally joking. And then it was literally another six. So, uh, the lead black parade guy that's on the roof with you goes, she stole one of Scary's poems. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Hear me out. Cause I know they, they follow the most depressed person in the room, right? Yes. Okay. How does Terry feel about hearing this poem? And does that make Terry so depressed that they'll listen to Terry? <laughs> That's really good. That's really, really good. Okay, so Terry's going to try to hide his emotions because he doesn't realize how the Black Parade works. I'm going to see if he does it successfully or not. He does not. So tears begin to well up in his eyes as he hears you say all the things that he suspected you really felt about him. And the member of the Black Parade turns and looks at him and goes, whoa, whoa, some, something's, mm, wait a second, wait a second. And he like gets up close to his eyes and like, dips a pinky into his tears and then like licks it. And he goes, Oh, that's good. He rubs it on his teeth. He goes, that's good sadness. Oh, don't you hate it? Don't you hate that your, your stepdaughter hates you? And Terry goes, I do, I do hate it. And he goes, Oh, you tried so hard, didn't you? And he's like, I, I did try really hard to make her like me. He goes, well, what, what happened? He goes, it, it didn't, didn't work. He's also got a cool goth collar on right now because he does. Oh, yeah. We got a dog collar. Yes, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice dog collar. Is it a sex thing? And Terry's like, it's not a, uh, sure. Yeah. It's why not. <laughs> And so the Black Parade goes, hold up, hold up, hold up. This guy, Gerard, says, I think we might have a new leader, everybody. What's your name? Terry. All hail Terry, the saddest dad in the land. And they all go, hip, hip, mo, hip, hip, mo. <laughs> and so for this moment, the guys atop the building have decided that Terry is their new leader because Terry is the most depressed. Good idea, Will. Meanwhile, at the bottom, Taylor's swinging his sword around. being like, away, away. Gerard looks over the edge and says, like, we got a new sad dad in, in town. And so the group parts for you, and Terry and Terry are still on top of the building, along with Hermie dressed as Scary, holding the tape measure. So Terry looks at you, and you see something change in his eyes. You see realization dawn on him. You see him figure something out. It makes you realize that this whole entire time he's been like a little bit distracted. There's just been something that's been gnawing at him and he couldn't quite figure out, and you see that he just got it. And he goes, uh... Hey, I'm just gonna. Can you just pretend that you're my stepdaughter for a second? Oh, that's silly, but I guess I actually took an acting class too. I wasn't in a class with Hermie, but I can pretend pretty well. That's that's great. Okay, uh, I'm your stepdad. I mean, I'm your stepdaughter. <laughs> Whew, I'm fucking it up already. No, 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 it's, it's fine. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. I just wanted to say I'm sorry that I couldn't make it work. I, I guess, and that I know you're going through a lot of stuff, and that I I, I really wanted to be a good stepdad for you and I I, th I think I, I think I would have if I just maybe gotten enough time and I'm sorry that we don't have enough time and I'm sorry for everything I mean I tried I tried really hard and I think I should be proud of myself for that and I am and I'm proud of you for for managing to survive this long and with this situation and I, I know you'll go back to scary at some point and hopefully you'll remember this and you'll probably think that it's stupid but um yeah I just wanted to say that before uh whoa it's been a really long time since anybody said that they were proud of me 
who wasn't my mom because she's my best friend. Your mom's great. I love your mom. Oh, that's another thing. Please tell your mom that I love her very, very dearly. I hid some money under me. I mean, she knows where I hid the money. I told her about it. It's not something I'm keeping oh, from you her. Oh, you know my mom. That's why. I yeah, do. Your mom and I are good, good friends. And I love you. And bye. <laughs> and in that moment, two things happen. One link hits the ground. Link is <laughs> Leah. They all hit the ground and they the, the black braid reaches up to catch you and like you crush a couple of them painfully and you take a D10 of damage from your very uncomfortable landing on the black parade. And the second thing that happens is that all of you remember what Terry told you when you first met him. He said that he had seen his death Dude. and that his death would involve the black parade being around and scary being around holding a tape measure. And as he looked around the roof, that's exactly what he saw. The Black Parade oh, shit. and Scary holding oh, a tape no. measure. And he remembered that something was going to hit him in the back of the head. Bang! And Ooh. at that moment, a bullet goes through what? the back of Terry Jr.'s head and he falls over dead, having said everything he could possibly think of to somebody who's not really his stepdaughter. And from across the way on another building on the other end of the street. <gasps> a glint. A glint of a sniper's scope. All snipers have rifles have glints. And no, Grant. Grant. <gasps> with a collar around his neck, starts to scream in pain. All our days whisked away, but is there something more to say? You know that no one knows us better than ourselves. You should tell myself it'll be all right. Pretty lies, let me sleep at night. I know that no one knows me better than my and I know I'll get this right It's just a matter of time till we make it out of We gotta pick ourselves up and say Not today, no, not today We live for tomorrow Make steel and borrow Break where we can change We gotta pick ourselves Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold as Lincoln Lee Wilson, Anthony Birch as RDM, Will Campos as Normal Oak, Beth May as Scary Marlowe, and myself, Freddie Wong as Taylor Swift. Michael Badgley played our intro narrator. Our theme song is On My Way by Max and Waller. Brian Fernandez is our content producer. Ashley Nicolette is our community manager. Courtney Terry is our community coordinator. Esther Ellis is our lead editor. Travis Reeves provides additional editing, and Robin Rapp is our transcriber. This podcast comes at you directly supported by Patreon. People like Jasmine Hall, Robert Hansen, Kalia, Pacifist Crush, Kavash Chowdhury, Jacob mh canyon bridges faith 1350 jay wilson tristan herrick victoria hayes sam huff spike tobias suchala davas mave alex pollock elwin maggie and philippa these are people who are helping to make this podcast possible but don't get me wrong it's not like they're getting nothing in return they're getting all kinds of bonus content all kinds of audiovisual treats and goodies everybody at every level gets access to our bonus one shots our live show recordings our extra after show we're deep in the labs right now talking about what additional cool sweet content we can hook you up with the only way to find out of course is supporting this podcast directly on patreon at patreon.com slash dungeons and dads where you can get bonus content and ad free episodes and join our discord community speaking of live shows two things are happening on that front this summer july 7th through 9th we're doing our first ever live show at rooster teeth expo you can get tickets at rtxaustin.com hint it's in austin we're gonna be doing our show on sunday we're hanging around all weekend so come on down check it out and that's not all later on this summer which is by the way looking at like last half of august is where we're targeting we're gearing up for some west coast tour dates there's gonna be more information to come out but you know like keep that in mind you want to know how you're going to keep on top of all that stuff? You're going to be the first to know by following us on various social media platforms. This has got a new territory for us. We have no idea if these shows are going to sell out immediately, like a Taylor Swift situation. It's probably not going to be a Taylor Swift situation, but you never know. You do know it's not going to be a Taylor Swift situation, but you better safe than sorry. You know, follow us on Twitter at Dungeons and Dads. Our website's DungeonsandDaddies.com. Our merch is stored at DungeonsandDaddies.com. And our subreddit is Dungeons and Daddies. Our next episode's coming out. I can't be right. Hold on. Is that really? Oh, my goodness. Yes, it is. July 4th, America's birthday, baby. We'll see you then.
Do I just click a spell slot for the first time? Are you fucking kidding me? It's pretty me? cool that you can track this. In Dungeons and Dragons Beyond.com. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons Beyond. <laughs> <laughs>